Hey guys, we're going to do a quick demo today, um, and I'm on the wrong thing. We're not doing Baccarat, so hold on one second, guys. I did not switch over from what I was doing. Okay, there we go. So we're going to do a quick demo today. So um, for private members, you guys know that we have introduced over the last two weeks some of the most amazing craps concepts, and some of them were actually still uh, doing a lot of due diligence, a lot of study. I spent a, a ton of time last week doing data analysis on 72 hours at the craps table and converting all the data over to what we needed to specifically look at. So today we're on a public uh, video on the uh, YouTube channel. So we're not gonna talk about that, but we're gonna talk about something else. And I'm going to show you guys another interesting, simple system. So a lot of people that don't play craps get very, very uh, nervous because there's so many different bets on the table. But there's a lot of bets that are really simple. You don't have to become an expert at all the horn bets. You don't have to become an expert at place bets or com or don't com or pass line and odds. There's all different things you can learn one by one to become... Uh, somebody that uses the craps game as an investment opportunity. So we're going to take one of the simplest bets to make. It's not always the greatest bet to make, but it's one of the simplest bets to make, which is the field. The field is a bet that incorporates, it's a one roll bet. So it's not like the numbers here where you're on them until uh, the seven shows up. With the field, it's a one roll bet. Okay, and it covers these numbers. Notice it does not cover the six and the eight because those numbers have the most ways to be made outside of the seven. So you're getting a lot of numbers, but you're not getting the top three numbers in terms of combinations. So what we're going to do is something a little different. A lot of people that play the field are going to martingale themselves to death. We're going to use a ladder here, and we're going to be willing when we use a ladder to grind it out, grind out our profits. That's the way it works. So we're going to do two up, right? We're going to go two up on a loss, and we're going to go one down on a win. So we're starting with a $10,000 bankroll. And we're going to make our objective, like we always do, something ultra conservative. We're going to say that our session is done, at least for purposes of looking at it like a real uh, money scenario, anywhere between four to six units made. So we're going to use $25 units just because it's easy, and we have a $10,000 bankroll, so that's fine. And we're going to throw a quarter out there, and we're going to roll. And we made a unit, okay? So now we're going to throw another quarter out there, and we're going to roll. And we made another unit. Boy, this is easy, huh? So there's two units right there, all right? So let's throw another one. So we had back-to-back -back field numbers. And sometimes you get lucky. There you go. That's a loss. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up two units after a loss. So that means we're going to be at 75. And we lose. So we're going to go up two more units. So we're at 75, we're going to add two more. And we win, okay? So that was at uh, 125. So now we're going to go down a unit, right? We're going down on a win, so we're going to go back down to 100. And we lost, okay? So we're going to go back up two units, so we're going to go to 150, and we win. All right, so notice, look where we're at now, right? We're at five units up, okay? So I'm going to tell you guys right now, I would be done, okay? I'd be done. I made five units, that's between four and six, and I would be done. My session's over with within five rolls or whatever that was. But let's just continue so we can get a feeling for how this works out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our 20. Well, actually, you know what? Where were we at? That was a 150. So we have to go back. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll start over again. Okay, we'll start over again. So now, because we're up, we're up enough now. 
So we're going to start back at our $25 bet. So you notice that I didn't go all the way down the ladder. You can do that. And that's the flexibility of using the ladder, right? Using the ladder. Why am I going to take more risk than I need to? I can continue to play the ladder and now jump back down to 125. I'm going to go back to 25. So here we go. We win. So we're, we can't go lower, right? So we're going to stay at 25. We lose. So now we're going to go out there with one, and then we're going to add our two units. We win. Okay. So now we're going to go down a unit. So we're going to go back to 50. We lose. We're going to go up two units, so we're at 100. We lose, we're going to go up two units, and we're going to be at 150. Okay, all right. So you see that, right? So now we're up more than we were before, right? We were up 125 or whatever that was. Now we're up 200. I'm not going to keep going up and down the ladder. I'm going to go right back to the beginning. So you notice I'm not keeping it static. I have, I have the flexibility to restart my ladder whenever I want. So I'm going to restart the ladder back at 25. And I win. I'm going to stay at the 25. And I lose. So I'm going to go up my two units. And I'm at 75. And I win. Look where I'm at, guys. 425. I'm going to go right back down to the beginning of the ladder. Bam, right? Stay there. Okay, I'm going to go up the ladder my two units. All right, I'm at $500. There is no way that I would continue playing at this point. All right, look how many units I've made, right? That's ridiculous. But let's just, for purposes of you guys understanding what I'm doing, I would I would have stopped a long time ago, but we'll we'll do it again. So let's start back again at the 25 so you guys can understand how I'm what I'm doing with the two up, one down, and the resets. Okay. We made 25, we can't get any lower. That's our base, so we're gonna stay at 25. We lose. So on a loss, we're gonna go, we had a, our base of 25, we're gonna go up two units. We win, right? That was at 75. So we go down one on the slide. Now, what I was doing before was going right back to 25, but let's do it the right, let's not the right way, but let's follow the rules this time so you guys can see. So we're going to go from 75 back to 50. We're going to play the ladder uh, the right way this time. We're not going to be flexible. We lost. So that was a $50 bet. So now we're at a $100 bet because we have to go up two units after a loss. You see that? Now we're going to go down one unit after a win, so we're going to go to 75. We lose. So let's put the 75 out and then go up two units. We win. Okay. You guys see that, right? I don't remember what, oh, we were at 125. So now I got to go down, right? One unit after a win, you're going to go down. Now, you know, I'd be going back to 25. Let's be honest. So let's just do what I, let, let's do what I would do for in real life. I wouldn't go up and down here when we're up this much. I would immediately reset back to the 25. Okay. We lose. You see why I'm doing that? Does that make sense? Now, when I go up to two units, it's not a big deal. So here we go. We're at 75. We win. We go down one unit, so we're at 50. We win. Now we're back to our base bet of 25. And we lose. So we go up two units to 75. And we win. All right? We'll do it one more time. We're already up $875. So here we go. We lose. We're going to go up two units. We win. We're going to go down one unit to 50. We 
we win. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it. So you understand what we're doing. We're using the field bet as our asset class, right? Because we look at the casino as an income strategy, right? The same as if you're buying a bond or a stock or, or an ETF or Forex contracts or, or options or whatever it may be. This is our option right now. And the way that we play this asset class is combining it with proper money management and the right bankroll. This was more than enough bankroll for me to play the $25 chips. That's the only reason I did that. You don't have to do that. You could start with $10 chips here, right? And what did I do? If I lost, I went up two units. When I won, I went down one unit. But the wrinkle I showed you is more important, which is when you're up, you don't need to go all the way back down the ladder. You can reset prior to that if you want. And the reason I do that is so that when I hit that little bump in the road where I have three or four losses in a row, it's happening many times when I'm at the base unit bet, starting at the base unit, as opposed to being at 150 or 200 hours and having the three, four losses in a row. Okay. I'm not telling you you shouldn't follow the, the ladder going down one at a time always. I'm telling you you should do that. But when you're up the amount of money that we're up, there is absolutely no reason to not restart. So that's it for today. I hope you guys got something out of this. I will continue to help you guys learn how to play different variations and craps. This is a simple one because it doesn't require an odds bed and it doesn't require all kinds of crazy stuff. You're going to walk over to the craps table. doesn't matter what the shooter is doing and if there's a point number or anything else. This is where you're going to play this system in the field. All right? You saw how fast we got up 200, 300, 500. We kept playing and we had a really good run. It doesn't always work this way. I don't want you guys to think that you walk over to the table and you make a thousand dollars in 10 minutes. That's not the way it works. Sometimes the field numbers aren't coming up. So you've got to be prepared to use that money management. The two up, the one down. All right. We'll see you on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And you can practice at Wizard of Odds or anywhere that has a crap simulation. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video and we'll see you on the next one.